Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. Young people with eating disorders have spoken to representatives from Meta in federal parliament today, telling them about the negative impact social media is having on them and their friends. Here's Justina. Across social media, young people are constantly bombarded with videos like this. But there's one group of people that are seeing far more of this kind of content than others. If you are diagnosed with an eating disorder, you're almost 4,000% more likely to receive the next video, which is eating disorder related. Yep, new research from the University of Melbourne shows that TikTok users who had or currently have an eating disorder are way more likely to see videos about physical appearance, dieting and exercise in their feed. If you have an eating disorder, then each and every video that TikTok sends to you, it's more likely that it's going to intensify your symptoms. It's something that rings true for Katya and Varsha, who have both had eating disorders. That's why they spoke to reps from Meta, the company which owns Facebook and Instagram, in federal parliament today. They say social media companies like Meta need to do more to protect vulnerable young people. To have a discussion that was purely focused on changes that can be made in that space was really beneficial. If you or someone you know needs help with an eating disorder, you can contact the Butterfly Foundation's National Helpline on 1800 Double three four six seven three. Taylor Swift dominated MTV's annual Video Music Awards yesterday. She added nine more trophies to her collection, including the night's top prize, Video of the Year, for her Midnight's track, Antihero. But for Taylor, the most exciting part of the night seemed to be seeing 90s pop band NSYNC in the flesh. Yeah, she's a big fan. To receive this um, from your golden pop hands is... It's, it's too much. Could this be an actual alien? Well, that's what Mexico's Congress were told when they were presented with two shriveled up alien looking mummies this week. <laughs> but uh, not everyone's convinced. Here's Joe. Are there aliens walking amongst us on Earth? Joe, are you okay? You look a little green. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Well, maybe. Or at least that's what Mexican journalist and UFO researcher Haim Mousen thinks. On Tuesday, he presented these two crusty things to Mexican Congress, as they met for the first time in their history to talk about UFOs, or UAPs. Haim claims these non-human beings were found in a mine in Peru back in 2017, and he says they're around a thousand years old. But many people reckon these two look a little too like Hollywood movie aliens to be the real deal. And Haim, well, doesn't really have the best track record. In 2017, he tried the same thing in Peru, with the report from the country's prosecutor's office finding his fossils were actually human-made dolls. But that hasn't stopped him claiming that this is the queen of all evidence if the DNA shows they're non-human even providing x-rays showing the skeletons and eggs inside of them. Nothing's been officially confirmed or denied yet, and the Mexican Congress hasn't decided if they think it's real or not. So the hunt for uh, them continues. Now it's time for some stories that'll leave you flabbergasted. <gasps> First up, to the Hudson River in the US, where 53-year-old Louis Pugh has become the first person ever to swim the entire length of the river without any help and without a wetsuit. How am I feeling today? Exhausted. You know, 315 miles is a long way to swim. Now to the Netherlands, where one very peculiar delivery has been dropped off at this detective's house. Inside the blue bag and wrapped in some bubble wrap and a pillow is a Vincent van Gogh painting, one that went missing three and a half years ago. Vincent van Gogh Spring Garden, painted in 1884. It's back. Nobody knows why it was stolen or why it was returned, but the museum is just happy to have it back. And finally, back to the US and in California, where a dog groomer is going above and beyond to give his customers very uh, unique looks. Gabriel here has been grooming dogs since he was 12 years old. Everything from rainbows to leopards to lions, nothing seems to be too wild for his clientele. Well, that's all from us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.